What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Dion and you are watching Reptiliatis channel. In today's video, we are doing an unboxing of the ages or rather I guess I should say an unraveling because there's a towel over this huge Rubbermaid bin and it's not actually a cardboard box, but it still counts as an unboxing if you ask me guys, I just received this Gift when I met up with my dear friend Anne Mac Anne is oh, Where do I even start when it comes to describing where the industry standard should be in raising arachnids Anne is exactly the only person who comes to mind when I think of what I want us to achieve. The fine detail and loving care she gives every single slang she produces is unbeatable. She'll literally give a bottle cap to a sling as a water dish and she produces hundreds if not thousands of slings a year. But every single one of them gets that intricate amount of care that you would see someone give to like an adult spider. It's amazing and she's a very honest and open caring person so when she talks about like losing a single sling from a sack and how devastated she is it's crazy that's how high her standard is she won't lose a single sling it's unbelievable every sling makes it to a juvenile sellable stage or she raises them for future breeders etc so Anne is amazing Anne and I have been really good friends for a long time and there's kind of this like I would say it's an ongoing back and forth joke at this point where we try to be generous to one another and it all started two years ago when I moved to Vancouver I met up with Anne and her partner Henry before leaving and she basically gave me I don't even remember it was like at least 12 spiders a bunch of immature males for females I had and a few slings that she had produced and all for free all for free just out of the goodness of her heart, out of the friendship we had, she's so generous. And so immediately I'm thinking to myself, how can I ever repay her besides, you know, producing sacks with the mail she gave me when they mature out and if ever, assuming everything goes well. And she didn't even want that. I, I ended up producing some Avic Avic slings and she said, oh, don't worry about it. I'm like, what? So completely selfless is my point completely selfless, a true, true friend, honestly. As soon as Vlad had a successful pairing over Tarantula Canada, I had 60 slings to my name. I was like, okay, I'm giving her five of them. I saw it as an opportunity to try to repay Anne. Anyways, here we are. I'm about to move back to Ontario from Vancouver a few months ago. And Anne messages me saying we need to get together for dinner sometime, you know, see each other. And that she has a small surprise gift for me. This is that small surprise gift that she was talking about. I can barely even lift it. And so in today's video, we are going to open Anne's gift. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not going to pretend what my reaction is here. Like... I've already looked at this. There was no bloody way I was going to give you guys an original reaction. I had to see what was in here already. And I can tell you right now, there's absolutely no way I'm ever going to be able to repay Anne for this gift. I didn't open the card that she gave me, and I'm going to do that now. And obviously, I wanted to check on the animals and make sure everyone was okay. So, we're going to go in here and see everybody. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, guys, welcome to the unraveling slash unboxing. Okay, so the towel's off, and that was just to keep them warm because we are in Canada and it is quite cold, negative degree weather outside, so they're all well insulated. And uh, here is the first box within a box. Here is another box, or the last box. Lots and lots of containers. Okay guys, so we're starting here with the card Anne has on top of the box. And I'm just going to open that now. Okay. This is fun to do one-handed. Sometimes people give because they simply think they should. 
But when you give, I always know it comes from someplace good. Oh my gosh. And Dion. Kindness comes straight from your heart. It's just a part of you. And I'm so very thankful for the thoughtful things you do. Thank you for all you did for me since we first met. You are a true friend. Love and hugs. And P.S. Welcome home. Oh my gosh. And so, so sweet. So sweet. Okay, guys. Sorry about the ring light glare, but I just wanted some good lighting. That'll go away once we open the lid. Guys, this is the most generous gift. I have ever received as far as the animal world goes. Um, I almost feel emotional. <laughs> so here we go. We have four heterometrous Peter C's or Peter size, which are uh, captive bred individuals, a species of Asian forest scorpion. And, um, uh oh. Right out of the bat, right off the bat, we. S oh, that guy has. Hold on a second. Hey, little friend. Oh, my tongue's here. Let's assess the uh, situation. You okay? It looks like they have one foot. Oh, there's one foot stuck. Okay, I'm gonna fix that right after. I don't want to mess with them. Sorry, little one. I mean to stress you. So we have four captive bred heterometrous spinifer <laughs> scorplings in here. So this is like a small little communal. And it's pretty awesome because I all okay, yeah, you're definitely doing okay, aren't you? Okay, I don't wanna put this down on any of you. <laughs> Look at you holding up. And so I already have four individuals that are quite a bit larger. So this is fantastic to add to my group and make sure that they'll be a nice sustainable group. Thank you so much, Anne. Here we have an Idiotheli Mira sling, which is a species I've been wanting for so long. These are one of the only uh, tarantulas that actually use trapdoor hunting techniques. So they burrow, but they also have sort of a trap door. So I'm not sure if this animal is here. Um, I'm sure, yeah, there's the door. So you can see they'll, they'll lift that up and come grab you if you're a Jiminy or a Cricket. So I don't wanna, you know, bother them. I'm sure you'll see them in a feeding video I'll do soon. But uh, that's an Idiotheli Mira sling. Here we have a second Idiotheli Mira sling. And in case you thought it ended there, this is a molt confirmed or molt sexed female Idiotheli Mira. So, you know, Anne just had to take it a step further and give me an adult, well, uh, a female. And she's down in there somewhere. Man, oh man, oh man. Here we have three, not one. Because one would have been great. One would have been just enough. But three captive bred by Anne, of course. Just to be clear, these animals are all produced by Anne. Three captive bred. Oh, you molted. So these are hot and tada, hot and tada. And they are a parthenogenic species as well. So with this means that the animals here are all female and they can reproduce asexually. Now, this is a beautiful little scorpion. What I'd like to do is show you what an adult specimen looks like, just so you can kind of compare. So, yeah, this is my female hot and tada, hot and tada. This is an adult, just so you can kind of get an idea of what the adult animals look like. It's pretty beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so as I mentioned, there's three of those hot and tada, hot and tadas. Amazing. And then, oh, a few <laughs> crickets that got out and dried up. Poor things. Here, we have 
a male Tapanicunius uh, Vio, what is it now? I'm trying to remember. Oh, yes. So it's the Tapnicinius violasis, if I'm not mistaken, or violacus. Uh, hopefully, I'm not butchering the pronunciation. And then here we have a female. So Anne has literally given me a pair of these beautiful spiders. And if you've looked them up online, they have this beautiful, well, violet uh, coloration. So there's a female somewhere in here. I'm sure she's just, oh yeah, I can actually see her legs through there. Um, we could try feeding them. Let's, let's give that a shot actually. Okay. Here it goes. No, I don't think she's hungry. I think she might be in pre molt So I'll we'll leave her be. Let's check and see what the male thinks about food. Nice. He grabbed it. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay. So we'll move along after that. We have... Some beautiful second instar C. gracilis. So the Centroides genus again. And this is a species I don't have, another parthenogenic species. And by the looks of it, someone here molted to third instar. So that is exciting. Let's have a little peek here. Oh, another molt, another molt. Lots of molting going on. Oh, wow. So it looks like everyone here has molted. Um, and actually suggested that I house these individually because they can be sort of cannibalistic when they're younger, especially during molting, ironically. So after these guys harden up, I think I'm going to do that just to be on the safe side. Clearly, it's it's kind of hit and miss considering, thank goodness, all four of them are here and intact and fine. But uh, we don't want to risk anything. So I'm going to be probably separating them. And then once they're adult, they can be kept communally again. So very, very exciting. Thank you so much. Wonderful. So the last spider from this container is a female Carabina Versicolor, the Antilles Pink Toe. Look at this beautiful animal. Oh my gosh, I just need the light to do it some justice. All right, let's, uh, let's try feeding this beautiful girl. Hey, you webbed over your water dish. What are you doing? And thank you so much. I have a few of these amazing animals already, but yeah, now I know that if, uh, you know, if any of them are male, I have a chance to breed them. So very exciting. Let's, let's try and feed this gorgeous girl. Are you hungry? Ooh, good girl. Good job. She got it. Want another one? Here, I'll give you one more if you want it. Good girl. You gonna come out so we can see you a bit? Yeah? Oh my goodness, look at her. Such a beautiful pink toe. I don't think she needs to eat much after this for the next while. She's uh, pretty bootylicious there. Holy macaroni. Doing her happy dance. I got food, yay. Awesome. All right, so now we'll move on to the box below. Because, yeah, you know, this wasn't enough. We need to give Dion more amazing animals. I can't thank you enough, and I'm just going to keep saying it throughout the video. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to rotate the bins now. Ooh, good thing this one's a lot lighter. Man, oh, man, oh, man, Anne. Look at that. Okay. 
look what's in here. All right, guys, so have a look at this. Most of you into the arachnid hobby already understand these acronyms and short form names. But let's just start looking here. We have one, two, three, one to two inch green bottle blue slings. These are the chromatopelma cyanopubescence. It's quite the mouthful for a Latin name. Here we have one, two, and three. Uh, Heteroscondra maculata, which is the Togo starburst baboon, on, uh, commonly comes out of Tanzania. Here we have one, two, I believe there's two of these. Let me just double check. Ah, yes, I stand corrected. There are three. So these are the Lampropelma nigerum arbocola. Uh, so they are a gorgeous, gorgeous spider. As adults, the females get this like dark velvet black, hence the Latin Niger for black. And uh, yeah, they're just beautiful animals. Um, here we have the P. gigas because it's no longer Tapnicinius gigas. Uh, the taxonomy was revised and they are now Pseudoclamoris gigas. I have one of these already, so hopefully that one is female and one of these is male. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to rock you there. And then here we have three Brachypelma emilia, which are one of my very favorite species of Brachypelma. I find they just look like these sweet velvety kittens, if that's not weird to say. Like they just, they're very, very velvety looking to me. And of course, these little guys have been fed super well by Anne. They're starting to get a bit of banding, like their adult coloration. And thank you so much. Oh man. You gotta understand, you know, commercially these animals are expensive. The Brachypelma Amelia slings, you can expect to pay at this size around $40 to $60 at least for each one. And oh my gosh, I haven't even gotten to these there. So here are the Lycas. These are the Lycas Tricarinatus. They are also technically, a, if I'm not mistaken, Buthids or Buthidae. So you do need to exercise caution with this species of scorpion. But they are also parthenogenic, so highly prolific animals. They're a pretty small species of scorpion. They don't get super, super big, but they have beautiful coloration. And I never really told you guys, but unfortunately I lost my female due to heat. Uh, I, I think that's what it was. I really don't know. It was really sad. Her enclosure was humid, so I don't know what caused it. But it's really nice to now have four of these animals to raise and... and uh, I'll replace her but be able to work with the species again because they are they make really fascinating scorpion pets and they have a really good feeding response too beautiful so thank you so much and truly so i'll put these over here for like as you've seen the b emilias i want to show you the p gigas but they can be flighty so I'm just gonna show you through here. You can kind of see them. Pop that open a bit. There, you can kind of see the beautiful patterning of the animal. Don't want to open it more than that, and I need to watch the toes now. Because we do not need a sling booking it. Okay, perfect. But what I'm really excited to have back in the collection is the green bottle blues, especially. I haven't told you guys, I don't think. I'm sorry, there have been some updates I haven't given, and when it comes to pet loss, sometimes I have a hard time sharing. But uh, for the better part of six months ago, my mature female green bottle blue Pepsi had molted, and something wasn't right. I don't know if she had a wet molt or what it was. She ended up passing away, and I was quite devastated. So, and when she found out, promised me she was going to give me a green bottle blue sling and I told her she doesn't owe me anything but of course she just takes it further and gave me three so and thank you so much truly like Pepsi meant so much to me as a spider and I'm really really honored that I get to raise th not one but three of your green bottle blue slings up to adulthood and hopefully one of these is a female. And I know some people don't like reusing names, but I really would like to 
in honor of my first girl, Pepsi. Name one of these, Pepsi the second. Um, so I'll raise them up. And the first one I can confirm is female. We'll probably get named Pepsi the second in honor of Pepsi, our girl. Okay, there they are. Now I'm not even going to try and show you the H Max. I'm sorry. They just they can be light sensitive, and they are technically one of the most potent species of tarantula in the world, next to Stromatopelma calciatum, which is the feather leg baboon. I'm not saying that that means it wants to bite. It's just gonna be, you know, they're not even like that defensive. I find they're just skittish, but we don't need one of these slings just kind of booking it. And I'm not really in the best position to catch it or avoid any type of uh, negative interaction with the animal. So we'll just let them be, which is what they prefer. Just, you know, comfortable, not bothered. Uh, the Lampropelma nigerimums, you can see in my feeding video because I have a few other ones. That I've been raising slowly also from Anne so um, yeah you can see those ones there if you like in the feeding video I'll link up above there to see what they look like when they get a bit more size they're very shy I find and they like to be a bit on the drier side not what you would expect but then to have access to water once in a while so the way Anne does it as you've seen here by gluing the water bottle cap to the container she provides them with a constant source of water but it doesn't make things in here too too wet so it's really perfect for raising these animals all right well i am truly speechless i don't know what to say okay so i was actually able to just get this molt off of the little scorpling okay buddy okay I could try to get them to automatize this leg, but I think we're better off just leaving it. It's probably going to come off on its own or the scorpion will get it off. But otherwise, it's totally fine and I think we're just going to leave them to harden up now. They should be good. But yeah, you can see that the molt is off so it doesn't have to worry about dragging that around, which is very important. So you're okay. I'm going to get you guys rehoused in a bigger bin. Awesome. Thank you so much for this gift. Honestly, I really don't know what to say. These spiders and scorpions, I'm gonna treasure them. Thank you so much for this generous, heartfelt gift. It means the world to me to have you as a dear friend, and I'm truly grateful. I can't thank you enough for this incredible gift. I'll find a way to try and repay you one day, not because I have to, because I want to. But in the meantime, I'm going to really, really love and cherish these animals. And I hope you have the time to watch them grow as well. So there you go. Um, a message to all of you. And Mac, if you're in Ontario and does offer her tarantulas, what an amazing gift. I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed receiving these incredible animals. If you liked what you saw and you'd like to see more videos on arachnids, don't forget to subscribe down below. Ding the notification bell to know when my next video is coming out. I'll post a few links to some of my tarantula scorpion related content at the end of the video if you'd like to check that out. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. Take care guys. Bye.